Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. So today we are doing five bookish facts about S.E. Hinton, the author of The Outsiders, and many other books that I haven't got to yet. This was her first, to be fair. So this episode was requested by Catalyst Reads, I believe, and without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so fact number one is that Essie Hinton's full name is Susan Eloise Hinton. She actually chose just to use her first uh, initials, S-E, as opposed to Susan Eloise, because she thought that boys wouldn't be interested in reading her work if they thought that a girl had written it. And boys, uh, she's kind of said that boys are kind of her target audience, really. Okay, so fact number two is that she actually wrote The Outsiders while she was still in high school. She was only 15 when she started work on it and she was 17 when it was first published. She said that she wanted to write it because she was annoyed with the lack of relatable pop culture being produced for teenagers at the time. She'd said, I'd wanted to read books that showed teenagers outside the life of Mary Jane went to the prom. When I couldn't find any, I decided to write one myself. I created a world with no adult authority figures where kids live by their own rules. Fact number three is that when the movie version of this was created, it was actually created basically because of her fans. So this actually, the movie started the Brat Pack of the 80s and basically introduced actors like Rob Lowe, Tom Cruise, Emilio Estevez, Matt Dillon, Patrick Swayze. But basically it wouldn't have been made at all if it hadn't been for the fans. So Coppola actually started thinking about turning this book into a movie after students at California High School started writing to him and sending him a petition saying that he'd be the perfect director to make it, and he listened. Fact number four is that when it came to writing a follow-up to The Outsiders, which she eventually did called uh, That Was Then, This Is Now, she basically had writer's block and she really struggled with it, and she was only saved really by the, the dude who went on to become her husband, and he basically just refused to take her out on a date unless she could prove that she'd written at least two pages of the book that day. And fact number five is that Hinton trained to be a teacher, but she never actually went into teaching. She did practice teaching, and she basically realised she became too emotionally involved with the students and their lives, and so she couldn't just be an impartial teacher. She couldn't, she couldn't do it. So there you have it. Those are five bookish facts about Essie Hinton. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've got a request for a future episode. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more bookish videos. And I will see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye. I just sort of uh, winked to you guys. I'm sorry about that. I never wink. I don't know what that was about. Yeah.